हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल बायोलॉजी रीडर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ब्लड इट्स कंपोनेंट्स टाइप्स ऑफ ब्लड सेल्स फाउंड इन इट एंड देयर फंक्शंस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बिफोर गोइंग डीप इनटू टू द टॉपिक लेट्स डिस्कस बेसिक्स फर्स्ट व्हाट इज ब्लड ब्लड इज अ फ्लूड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू विच इज पम्प्ड आउट बाई हार्ट देन इट इज सर्कुलेटेड थ्रू आउट द बॉडी एंड देन इट गोज बैक टू द हार्ट थ्रू द प्रोसेस कॉल्ड सर्कुलेशन ऑफ ब्लड ब्लड इज अ रेड कलर्ड लिक्विड कंबाइंड ऑफ ब्लड प्लाज्मा एंड ब्लड सेल्स ब्लड प्लाज्मा कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स द लिक्विड पोर्शन ऑफ द ब्लड एंड मेनली कंटेन्स प्रोटीन्स न्यूट्रियट्स ग्लूकोज एंड अदर डिजॉल्व मैटर ऑन द अदर हैंड ब्लड सेल्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स द सॉलिड पोर्शन ऑफ द ब्लड एंड कंटेन्स आर बी सी डब्ल्यू बी सी एंड प्लेटलेट्स देयर फोर वी कैन से दैट ब्लड इज अ फ्लूड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू दैट सर्कुलेट्स फ्रेश ऑक्सीजन and nutrients throughout the body next is components of blood blood is composed of mainly four components rbcs wbcs platelets and plasma when a sample of blood is centrifuged we see three different layers bottom layer middle layer and top layer bottom layer contains the heavier molecules like rbcs middle layer contains wbc and platelets and top layer contains the yellow color light substance that is blood plasma rbc wbc and platelets collectively constitutes about 45% of the blood and blood plasma constitutes about 55% of the blood now let's move on to our main topic blood cells what are blood cells blood cells are also termed as hemocytes which constitutes the major portion of the blood blood cells form through the medullary hematopoiesis stem cell which occurs at the site of bone marrow now we will discuss the types of blood cells blood cells are of three kinds namely rbcs red blood cells wbcs white blood cells and platelets now we will discuss about these cells in brief rbcs rbc stands for red blood cell these cells are also known as erythrocytes The diameter of RBC is about 7 micrometer and its thickness is about 2.5 micrometer. RBCs have disc shaped and biconcave structure. The average life span of RBC is about 120 days. After that they are removed out of circulatory system by special cells known as macrophages in the spleen. RBCs are also known as unnucleated cells because they don't contain any nucleus. The production of RBC is regulated by erythropoietin hormone released by kidney. Friends, do you know why RBCs are red in color? Well, it's because of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a red-colored iron-containing protein which carries oxygen and transport it to different body parts. Function of RBC. Basically, it has two main functions. RBC contains hemoglobin which helps in transportation of oxygen from lungs to the other parts of body. Secondly, it collects carbon dioxide from the other parts of body and back it to the lungs. Moving ahead, let's discuss about soldiers of our body WBCs. WBC stands for white blood cells. These cells are also known as leukocytes. WBCs are irregular in shape and size. These cells are also known as nucleated cells because of presence of nucleus. On the basis of presence of nucleus, WBCs are divided into two subcategories: granulocytes and agranulocytes. Functions of WBC. Depending upon the physical and functional properties, WBCs are categorized into five types, which are neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, monocytes, and lymphocytes. neutrophils neutrophils have segmented nucleus and contain light pink colored granules in the cytoplasm these play a crucial role to phagocytose bacteria and promoting inflammation eosinophils eosinophils have bilobed nucleus and contain dark pink or red colored granules in the cytoplasm these are active against parasites and helminths basophils Basophils have bilobed nucleus and dark blue or purple colored granules in the cytoplasm. Basophils release histamine and heparin where histamine increases tissue blood flow and mediates inflammatory response while heparin acts as anticoagulant. Monocytes. 
Monocytes have large indented nucleus with agranulated cytoplasm. These play a significant role to form macrophages and other antigen presenting centers. Monocytes differentiate into macrophages that removes the dead cell and pathogen out of its spleen. Lymphocytes Lymphocytes have large spherical nucleus with agranulated cytoplasm. These include effector and regulatory cells that trigger an immune response. Now, let's move on to our third type of blood cell which is platelets. Platelets are small colorless cell fragments with irregular shape. These cells are also known as thrombocytes. The diameter of platelet is about 2 to 3 micrometer. Platelets are considered as unnucleated cells because of absence of nucleus. These are formed in bone marrow by segmentation of cytoplasm of cell known as megakaryocytes. The average lifespan of platelets is about 5 to 10 days. The formation of platelet is regulated by thromboplastin hormone which is produced by kidney and liver. Function of platelets Platelets help in blood coagulation to stop bleeding. Some clotting factors are also released by platelets called procoagulants that increases the blood clotting efficiency. And there we have it all about blood cells. From oxygen carriers to immune defenders and clotting agents. They all work together for our well-being. So friends, this is all for today. To know more about this topic in detail, you can visit our official website that is biologyreader.com. Link is provided in the description. If you find this video useful, do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more videos.